blessed morning, people. Um, hope everybody's day is uh, starting off in a blessed way. I know mine did. God woke me up in praise this morning. I was very grateful this morning. Thank you. I tell you, every time I call a name Jesus, he comes to me. Come right there to me. You can't, really, you can't hope for much more than that. You can't expect much more than that. You know, you just, just kind of got to work with you. Just, just gotta enjoy it. Father, Son, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. You really do just gotta enjoy him and just enjoy man, enjoy his glory, enjoy his grace, enjoy his warmth, his light, you know. But um came on here today, you know, just to so many <laughs> it's going to sound funny but he showed me so many pigeons yesterday but um, around my little garden they, they drop these they drop these white feathers everywhere people do that you just gotta be behind somebody but uh they drop these white feathers like all over my garden and uh they never been behind my uh my apartment um, before, never, and it's a it's a field back there, so it's a, it's a it's a, a a walkway, like a little field back there, so it's nothing but grass. Sometimes people go back there and play with their dogs or whatnot. I'm sorry, it's paying attention to how some, how some people drive out here is, is the weirdest thing. Like you speed up just to get right there. Oh well, that's weird. But back to my story. So it's this field, and I've been here for over a year, and I've never seen um, birds back there the way they were. Okay, so it's gonna be morning speed racing. Okay. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Dear Heavenly Father, please take me all my destination. Return to the Jesus, Holy Name. I pray. Amen for the Father. Amen for the Soul. Amen for the Holy Ghost. Amen for the Son. I'm sorry, Lord. But um, I, I thought it was weird. After a year, I've never seen these birds gather back there. It's over a year. I'm sorry. It was a year in April. And I've never seen those birds gather back there. And I'm like, well, God, why? You know, and then I'm wondering. I'm like, well, Jesus, why? Is um, the birds gathering back there? Why do I keep seeing these feathers everywhere? You know? And I'm like, it makes sense. It, it makes sense because, uh, you know, God was shining his grace on us the other day. And I'm like, wow. Um, it, and it just gave me this warm, this warm feeling. Like, just, just like very humble feeling. Uh, all that just to get the bird king, man. People, people, cra people crazy. But it just gave me this very warm feeling, man. This warm feeling of like, just like, protection and just, just, just love. And I, I woke up this morning because I had to call on God last night to, to uh, save me, save me from my mess. I ain't gonna shoot Coda. I was, I was, I was, I was in my mess last night, feeling some type of way. I called on God, man, and, and when I said He came, man, He came, man. It was, it was expediently. When I say He came, man, and I just started crying out to Him this morning as I got up, you know, showered, got my day started. I just started crying out to Him and just thanking Him, man, because, you know. Sometimes that's all you can say. You can't even. You, 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 sometimes you be so.
so deep in your mess, man, you can't even say it all. You can't even say what you need help from. But I just called on him, and he knew how to come save me. He knew how to come rescue me. So I was just thanking for man. I was just thankful this morning, man. I was just blessing him. Pushing it. It should be. Oh, found it. That's what was, that was. That's what was beautiful. That's what was very beautiful. Well, you can call on God. But that speaks to his glory. That speaks to his glory and um, how he wants to help us and how he wants to save us, you know? I <laughs> Let that marinate for the day, you know? Let that marinate for the day. You call him, man, and he just come right on time, you know? All right. Thank you, man. All right, you too. So I can keep that attached. Yeah. All that stuff taken care of, but in God's time, not my time. But yeah, just just let that sit on you today. The fact that this is a God that comes on time every time when you call him. And he knows how to help you. That speaks volumes. It really does to how amazing he is. And how you couldn't ask for nothing. Nobody, nobody, I can pick the phone up right now and call. That's going to do me like Jesus. That's going to do me like God. Nobody. And that's beautiful, man. To me, that's, that's amazing. can't be my shelter in the storm. Mm. Can't nobody be my shelter in the storm but God. Can't nobody keep me like God can. Can't nobody walk with me like God can. And just ponder that today. You know, um, I read my Proverbs verse. But I know God gonna give me something else today. You know, I know God gonna give me another word today, man. Like, I feel it. I feel it. Like the way He woke me up this morning, I feel it. God, God got another word for me today, man. You know, um, and I wanna, I wanna, um, first time, I wanna encourage you guys to check out Prophetic Drive Time, man, because the video He put out yesterday, you know, how God spoke through Him, man. Man, I received every word that he had me crying and in praise, man. Then last night, God just woke me up crying and in praise, man. Like, you know, he's like, it's, it's, like, it's going to be all right. It's going to be all right. <laughs> he's, like, he's, he's like, it's going to be all right, man. It's going to, you know, and it's God, God's telling me, man. God's like, it's going to be all right. You don't got to worry. It's going to be all right. I got through talking to my brother the other day. And I told him, like, I'm like, yeah, man, it's going to be all right. It's like, as long as I got God, I'm always have God. I'll always be be on be on a walk with God. So it don't matter, you know. It don't matter what happens. They can't take God from me. 
you know. They can shake my faith, but they can't destroy my faith. I'm always have faith in God, you know. Even if it's as small as a mustard seed, God says that's all you need. That's the only. That's all the faith you need is the size of a mustard seed. And I'm with them. I'm with God for the long run. As long as I got him, I know I can make it. The same for you guys, man. As long as you got God, man, you can make it, man. You can do, you can do all things through Christ. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. When He said that He'll keep you, He'll keep you, man. When He, when He said that He'll love you, He'll He'll be the only one there at night. Sometimes, you know, loving you, hugging you, you know, telling you that you're beautiful, man. And sometimes God has somebody come up to you and, and say, "I love you," just just, just because. Just because he knows you need to hear it in the middle of the day. Just because he knows you need to hear it sometimes. You know, sometimes God will go to go, go to that person and, and, and say that you matter. You know, and say that they care. Because sometimes God's like, you need to hear it from me. But you're not you're not in a you're not in a space where you can hear me right now. So he's gotta talk to somebody else so you, that you can receive that word. So you can receive that message. And you gotta know he loves you, man. What's that song? Uh, Always and forever. You know, God loves you, man. God loves you. But that's the... Uh, so, the ooh, <laughs> supposed to be a quick word for this morning. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and get to it, man. You guys uh, stay blessed and stay with God as always, man. Take care.